A coalition of business owners, local politicians, and the group Gas Free Seneca were in Albany today to reiterate their stance against liquid petroleum gas being stored along Seneca Lake. They represented more than 400 businesses that opposed that gas storage plan. WENY's Logan Wilson was in Albany today as the group was there to send a message to Governor Cuomo. Gas Free Seneca is taking its years long fight with Crestwood Midstream from Watkins Glen right here to the Capitol steps in Albany. The coalition of activists, business owners and lawmakers came to the Capitol to send a message to Governor Cuomo to ban liquid petroleum gas storage in empty salt caverns along Seneca Lake. We implore the governor to take a precautionary approach that evaluates the independent science and the potential negative impacts to our economy, the environment, and public health when making a decision about this ill-conceived plan. The coalition has fought against Texas-based company Crestwood Midstream, storing LPG and natural gas at their facility in Redding. Finger Lakes winery owner Rick Rainey joined the coalition to tell the governor that storing gas at Crestwood goes against everything he and his father have accomplished in New York's wine industry. So now we're at this crossroads. Do we write the next chapter, the chapter that was started by his father, and continue that amazing legacy, or do we trade it in for a short-term project that just benefits very few, which is gas storage? The coalition also compared their situation to what's happening in Flint, Michigan. They fear the gas stored underground could leak into Seneca Lake, which is the drinking water source for 100,000 people. When you look up uh, the Finger Lakes on the internet, one of the first things that comes up is the wine industry and then the natural beauty and the parks. And if there was a disaster to take place on Seneca Lake, that's what would happen. If, if you were to look up um, Porter City, California, the first thing that's going to come up is gas disaster that's happening there. We don't want the same thing to be happening in the Finger Lakes. The coalition is waiting on a decision from the state DEC on whether or not Crestwood can go forward with the gas storage plan. However, the group says in the end, the fate of the Finger Lakes is in the governor's hands. Reporting in Albany, Logan Wilson, WENY News.